Hey, it's your man Roger D and I've got another video for you today. Today we've got the Geotech VX4 PlayStation controller, also PC controller, so do not switch that dial because obviously it's for PlayStation 4, PlayStation Slim and PlayStation 4 Pro as well as PC. Let's test this out and see how we get on. Let's cover the front of the joypad. So we've got a directional uh, keypad here. We've got two thumbsticks, and we've got left and a right. We've got obviously four buttons, which is the normal PlayStation, triangle, square, circle, and X. X will be at the bottom, square will be on the left. Uh, top one will be green triangle, and the circle will be the right hand button. Oh God, I can't remember. I don't even know how I remember this. But on the back, we've also got the left and right triggers. So we've got a right trigger at the top, and we've got a left trigger at the uh, left hand side, and then we've got a bottom left hand trigger, and then we've got a right hand trigger. And to once with you, it feels quite tight. But obviously, whenever you get a new controller out of the box, it normally is quite tight. But these do feel tight. Then you've got obviously um, a pad at the top there, and this is obviously you can still press that as well. Also on the top of the front of the joypad, we've got the option button and we've got the share button. The share button is obviously when you go on PlayStation, you can share your content quite easily. So it does have sort of the same layout as a normal joypad from PlayStation, which is quite cool. So this is this is probably why I'm quite familiar with it anyway, even though I like PC games, but option button as well. Everything works exactly the same way. So when you want to go through the buttons as a start button, that does that as well. Home button and the share button together, press together like so. So I'll just do this really quickly. You get a blue um, indicating light to pairing mode. So make sure you press them both together and it indicates go straight into pairing mode. And then you literally just pair um, your computer or PlayStation and it will work straight away. This button here is a turbo button. Other than that, we've got nothing else other than it just feels pretty sharp and stuff. And obviously 3.5 millimeter jack for your audio. But when I connected to the PC, it didn't work. So I don't know whether it just works with PlayStation because uh, we ain't tested it with a PlayStation, but obviously it worked with a PlayStation, it works with a damn PC, okay? So let's go and test this and see what we can do with it. See if it's like, like a PlayStation joypad or not like a PlayStation joypad. So what did you guys think about this controller? Would you have this as an accessory to your PlayStation 4? Or would you have it with your PC? Or both? From a distance, this does look like a PlayStation 4 controller, but it's not. This is an actual third party accessory controller that you can use with a PlayStation 4 or PC. So the thumbsticks on this controller, left and right, feel like PlayStation ones. They have, they've definitely got the quality. They definitely feel like the quality is there. Joypad does not feel like it's got the quality there, but it's not mushy or anything like that. It just feels like a third party accessory. Whereas the buttons there for the option and share, they feel quite nice. Uh, the buttons there didn't really have that much actuation. If I was playing more of a serious game where I needed an actuation where I play it, press the buttons down lightly, um, I don't think I'm gonna get this from that, but this is gonna be good for like fighting games and stuff. When you press the button, it executes and it happens. The back trigger buttons, there's got like these little flaps on there. If you dropped it on the floor, like you do with other controllers and kids are playing it and stuff like that, it could break and then you ain't got the controller anymore. 
Um, other than that, they don't feel cheap and they don't feel expensive, they just feel in the middle. Right, so pairing this joypad, you just press the home button and the share button together and you hold it down for like three seconds and then you get this blue pin light flashing and that means that you're ready to pair to your phone, PC or PlayStation, or only the Playstations. Um, do not like the 3.5 millimeter jack at the end here. I wish it was in the middle, it's offset to the left. I really hate that. And also it's a mini USB, and talk about mini USB, I wish I saw a type C, but PlayStation still do mini USB. So I don't know about the new PlayStation when that comes out or if it's even out. But anyway, the cable is not very long on this joypad as well. So if you want, say that you've got your massive TV over there and you're playing in your living room or whatever on the sofa, this is not going to be substantial. This cable is very short. Even though it's wireless, the only way that I got this controller to work just a second ago was really connecting it via mini USB to USB 2. So technically, you could be a controller down or a man down. Would I buy this? No. And let me explain. I wouldn't buy this because I'm a very impatient person. And I normally like to buy things that work straight out the box. And if it doesn't work straight out the box, then I've got to get up, out of my house, go all the way to wherever I need to get it. If it's, I don't really buy online, but my girlfriend does. But that's her. I like to go out and physically like try like devices out and products and stuff. And I like to be able to know that it's just there on the shelf. I buy it and I take it back and I'm ready to play. Now, if this doesn't work straight away, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Now, I did have the problem with the wireless and I did have the problem with the wired. And the wired is even shorter. So if I was playing the PlayStation, I'd be even more annoyed. And I don't wanna to say to you guys, go out and buy it because it did work for me because I know a little bit about computers. It's nothing to do with that. I just want you to like literally buy it and it works. So this is my honest feedback about it. It just didn't work properly for me and it could be that it's faulty. I'll find out from the people um, when I say to them to send me another one so I can test it out. And if it works, then I'll leave it in the comment down below or comments down below or do like a little mini video. It's been your man, Roger D. I'll see you next video. Roger and out.